everybody, I'm Elise Explosion and I am back with another Amazon BJD unboxing. I also want to thank Icy Fortune Days for sending this doll along. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. So a couple months ago, I did a review of the beautiful, beautiful dragon princess mermaid doll. I, I loved her and you can check that video out there if you want. I don't know how to do cards, but if there's a card, I'll put it like there. Um, but Icy Fortune Days was kind enough to send along a second doll from the same series. And this is Teresa. So another standard disclaimer, these are not true BJDs. I understand that they are more like resin dolls. They don't come apart. They don't have separate wigs. We had a whole discussion about this on the last couple videos. I'm aware of that, but because that is what the listing is and the video title is going to reflect if you want to look it up on Amazon for yourself, check it out. We know. <laughs> but I'm going to just go to town and open. It confused me last time and it confused me this time because I keep thinking it says Dairy Queen, but it's Diary Queen. And again, they are packaged in a beautiful so a very, funny. very, very sweet, uh, it's like a little pink quilt, it's like a little pink quilt bait. Oh, she bendy. Uh -huh. Oh, she flop. She flop. As we open her up. Oh cool. my she gosh. She have a package of parts. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. She, she does have a package of parts. So, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love her. Wow. All right. So the first thing I noticed right off the bat is how beautiful her face up is and this is even with her like with the protective bubble on so they are 18 inch dolls uh and she is in like a sweet lolita with like a little unicorn pattern on her dress and i am going to cut away real quick so that i can get her properly dressed and then we can move forward with the assessment but i just need to say she's breathtakingly beautiful 11 minutes later. Okay, everybody, we're back. And again, I am just blown away at how beautiful these dolls are. Now she is an articulated resin doll. So she does have several, several points of articulation. Wrists, which uh, actually can be switched out. She does come with an additional set of hands. If these you like better, uh, sh elbow, shoulder, neck, uh, ankle, knee. So she has two points of articulation on the like the, the thigh leg area. She has the hip joint and she also has like a rotational point on the upper thigh itself so you can move her legs in and out as needed. Uh, I don't believe she has a waist joint. I don't think there was one there. She does not have body blushing and she does not have detailed body molding either. But holy peas, she's beautiful. The print on the dress, hang on, I'm gonna lift her up so that you can kind of see it. She's probably gonna slip, but starting at the base here, I'm just I'm just gonna go toe to tip. Uh, the shoes are like white leather-ish shoes with an actual sole. There's a little pink bow and a functional buckle. She has, I forget what it's called, but she's got like the, the high stockings with and their fishnet, their white fishnet. Uh, the dress itself, she does not have a petticoat, but it is big and puffy. It is very lacy. It's like a purple print with little unicorns on it. Extremely sweet. There is a large bow at the back, at her mid back. Uh, and she does have a little corset. There's little corset detailing on the blouse with two little tiny pink buttons. And she has a white blouse with sleeves. Very, very lacy. There's a little bit of tool kind of tool it's very soft tool uh with a little tiny pearl details super super pretty she also has a long um she has a uh purple hair ribbon with some flowers on it her hair is a very very pale pink she has brown eyes uh extended eyelashes uh she does have painted eyebrows and lipstick on with a little bit of facial blushing now she does not, as we've discussed in the past, these these dolls do not have wigs. They are rooted. So you, if you wanted to change that out, uh, you would probably have to cut that off or remove it otherwise. 
the hair is extremely soft, very high quality. And I just, I can't get over how pretty she is. Oh, and she does have a little uh, staff. We were not really able to get that posed in her hands properly, but you can see she's holding it. It does kind of look like a little lollipop. An additional mark of quality on this doll is when her hair was brushed, uh, none of it came out onto the brush. The rooting is extremely well done and holds very well. So I, again, much like the last doll we reviewed and the, the dolls I reviewed previous, this is an excellent doll. She retails for about $60 US. Uh, they do often have coupons for her. So keep an eye out on Amazon. I will have a link for her in the description if you are interested in picking one up for yourself. So, and because I am a woman of my word, here are some close-ups of Teresa so that you can see her in detail. And like I said, she's, she's just a beautiful, beautiful doll. I am extremely pleased with the quality of these dolls. If you are looking to get a starter doll for yourself, if you're not ready to make the jump into like full-size ball jointed dolls, uh, if you have a younger collector friend who would be interested in something to start out with and you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a BJD, uh, and, and I'm sure you probably don't want to get a recast, uh, she's a great, great choice to start with. Thank you again to Icy Fortune Days for sending her my way. Um, if you are interested in more BJD videos, uh, I don't have that many and they're not actual BJDs, but you can check some at the end of this video. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you're interested in seeing more of those, I'll link some at the end of the video. My social media links are in the description below. We have a Patreon here. If you are interested in supporting us more, that is patreon.com forward slash at least explosion. Uh, click the little bell, join the notification squad. Cause if you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.